Hello and how are you? My name is Mahin Dombar and I will come you uh, to our 15th lecture of creating a complete uh, inventory management system. As you know, always do 40 minutes and you can see our time has started counting. So without wasting much time, let's go straight to our today's business. So uh, we stopped in the, from the previous lecture at this registration point. We got introduced to uh, postman we even tested a few things so we saw this registration point so we went ahead and copied the names i mean the the value that we shall need when you're creating a what when you're creating a user okay so you're going to check if the someone has submitted a few things and then after we go ahead and uh, do what and do the logic of registration of the user and then you say that we're going to need these two main things okay uh, the company information and also the what the registration information so let's go ahead and check these uh, few things okay uh, so for me i always see this request as a big thing i can make it an r so it can be a smaller variable for me okay so i've just changed it to r so the first thing we're going to check if someone has submitted uh the username let's just first see the thing that we're going to check here if someone submitted the username someone submitted the password if someone submitted uh their first and last name uh-huh i will check if someone submitted their what their phone number their email uh, their phone number okay so i don't know which one we should use i think we should use email if we'll check if someone submitted their email okay okay so those are the things that you're going to check first okay so because you cannot download an application if you don't have an email at least so again, check someone submitted an email, okay? And then after doing those things, and then we go ahead and do the logical registration. So to check, I'll just simply come here and say, if uh, is set, okay? So if is not set, and then I put error, or can just, okay, I can just simply say, if, R and then say na a first name equals to null. I just send back the error. So I just say utils error first name is required. Okay, let me just put here some success, maybe something like that. All right. So if someone doesn't send back send send to us first name, we just send back the error. So you say utils error. Uh, first name is required. Okay. So let's go ahead and test this so if i go ahead and send you'll see i'm getting error which is uh, first name is required aha uh -huh. so if i go ahead and just change this variable and put first underscore name so i go ahead and send you'll see that success so it means that it is working so let's go ahead and check for the first name let's go ahead and check for the last name Check if last name is provided. So I do the same. I also check if the email is provided. I do the same. I do check if email is valid. So I hope you can see that. So Copilot is helping me. <coughs> so this is how we check if the email is valid. Eh? Uh -huh. What else do we need to check? Uh -huh. Now let's check if there is another user. I think those are the things that we need. Okay those are the things that we need first name last name and also a valid email what else do we need apart from that we can leave the phone number in the phone number can become optional okay so we shall be logging in someone by an email all right so let's check if uh, there's also another user with the same email so this is how you check so i can say user equals to I say user where email equals to this and I get the first user so I say get for me the user who's has the email that has been provided okay so I check if is not null and I will go ahead and say email is already registered or is already used by another account I hope that is that is that makes sense okay I hope that makes sense to you all right so let's go ahead and get also some um, company table uh, before we do everything and check if password is provided yeah i think yeah that was also very important 
so pastor just replied so you can say maybe if you want pastor to be at least eight characters okay that one is not necessary for now all right so let's go ahead and get the company information also so that we should just uh, set everything at once when you start creating so all right mm -hmm. let's go ahead and get the company information so i'll come here to the table of companies okay i'll come to the table of companies Okay, so I'll come here at the table of companies. Where is it? It is here. Let's get uh, also their names and also we make sure that we move everything at once. So that is it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's okay. So let's go ahead and also put here. So this is for the user information. Uh huh. Let's go ahead and get another block for the company. So I hope you can see how I've been changing these things. Eh? You can also do the same. Okay, please go ahead and do the same. Right, so let's go ahead and create another block comment for the company okay so we shall need the company name uh-huh we shall need the company name i think that's the most important thing okay we shall need the company name maybe also the currency uh-huh yeah i think that's those are the two important things the company name and the maybe the currency Yep, I think those can be important. The others can be optional. So check, check, check if company name is provided. So I shall go and say if company name is got null, then it will return an error and say company name is what is null. I think those are the that is what is most important, and this maybe currency if currency is null then say currency is required i think those are the most important fields okay <clears throat> so if someone has provided all these things then we shall go ahead and check if uh let's shall we need to check also if the company name already exists <laughs> i think that's not very really necessary because some companies can have same names all right we may need to check that maybe also all right so if you want to if you can also do that uh, so let's begin now by registering now the what the user so i'll just come and copy this block of comments of users i hope you're still together i hope you're not lost then we're going to begin by registering the what the user okay so these are the information for the user all right so i can now say new user so after making sure that there is no person who uses this email after making sure that you provided all the information then i go ahead and start doing what registering the new user so it will say new user equals to like that all right so the first thing that i'll do i'll get the, the, the first name so i'll get it from the error first name so this is on the request All right so the first name is that uh-huh so we go ahead and get the uh the last name let me just last name okay so first name and last name this one already done okay let's go ahead and get the username so the username is going to be the email of pass of someone so equals to error and put email so that is going to be the username of someone password so password you are going to hash it so password equals to password hash and then we pass the password and like this error then password and then say password default in capital letters like this so it can create a hash for it all right so after doing that uh we get uh the name of course the name will be the merging of uh, two first and last name okay
we merge first and last name like that to get a name so avatar we don't need have we don't need that to have that one remember rec token we remove that one created art that will be generated and updated at a uh, company id so by default we can make this one to how to be on in company one <laughs> to be in company one like this by default okay so the company that has id one so after doing that um the next thing that i'm going to do you're going to go ahead and get a phone number if it was provided so we'll go ahead and collect the phone number so it's going to be her phone number okay phone number two this one can be provided later and then address of the person this one can be provided later uh, sex of the person can be provided later date of birth can be provided later and then we can begin by setting his status to be active by default and then say active and then put email the email of course it's going to be this one email like this so that is how we shall register the user all right so we go ahead and save the user okay so after saving the user we shall need to get again this user in order to see that if he was really registered okay so we can say maybe uh, registered user equals two so let's get this user and see if he's uh, has really been registered okay so equals to user find then you say new user id so this uh this object will expect to be having id okay so get this new user and see if he's really there so you can just simply check if is equal to null okay so you can go ahead and send the error and say maybe uh so failed failed to register user in case this user is not found okay so here we are registering and then here we try to get this register this registered user by like this okay so and also one more thing here we may need to surround this server with try and cache because there might be something that can go wrong and you may not need your application to 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 throw error with because you did not handle them so we're going to put here try and say save and then put here cache instead something don't go right so you just put here the word exception like this and e and then say error fail to register user so you can get the error from here as well the real reason in case maybe there's a sql problem something like that and then put here say get message eh? get message like this do like that so if you do like this in case there's an error because of sql or because of something that we do not see uh the system will be able to do what uh to send back i mean to to do what you'll be able to uh to to get the error and send it properly not by throwing the, the error that it was not handled so this is how you save so if it reaches here let us first test if and see if the user has been registered successfully before we go and proceed to the what to the company okay so let's first test that so we go ahead and say uh utils and say success so when i say success the data i pass the user who has been registered okay and then i say user registered successfully so that is how we can test and see if everything was okay all right so let's go ahead and uh, try to feed in okay so come here first name so i'll come here to postman okay this is postman so let's go ahead and try to test i can try to put this one down so you can see it clearly so first name is there mohindo uh last name uh mubarak and then you go ahead and provide username so this is how you test your api username mubahood and okay sorry don't need username here we need email sorry so i can say email put mobilehood at gmail.com uh-huh what else the name we don't need it uh we need the phone number phone number so i can put maybe plus two five six seven eight three two zero four six six five you can validate if you want to 
you can go ahead and put i think that's all maybe we shall need also company name company name you put mohindo and sons all right so let's go ahead and send this okay let's go ahead and send this i'll go ahead and uh, reduce press control and minus to reduce so this is my form data that i'm sending body form data here all right let's go ahead and try and send password is required so do not put password okay so come here and put another field password four three two one send current user currency is required oh, we have to put also currency okay ugx uh -huh. send you see success you'll see like uh, everything is okay the code has been sent back as in uh, the code is one let me go ahead and collapse this you see the code is one the username is here has been created so they are sending back me the data you see this the, the data of the person who has been created and here the message registered successfully so everything is beautiful eh? uh, here, let's try to send back again you see email already registered that is so nice okay that is so nice all right so that is so beautiful isn't it it is beautiful all right so the next that we're going to do right now is to do what is now to the next thing that we're going to do is now to uh to register the company after registering the what the user so after making sure that the user is found so we're going to come here let me remove this access so after making sure that even the user has been found, the one that has just been registered, let's go ahead and create a what? That person's company. So we just simply say company equals to new company. Okay. Make sure this is imported like this. All right. So after doing that, uh, let's start putting the information that we need. All right. So ID to be generated by the system. Uh, the created at... It will be generated by the system. Updated has been generated by the system. Owner of this company is equal to this registered user. Okay, registered user. And then give him the what? The ID. Remember, we have to give him also a role. That is also another important thing that we didn't forget. Eh? Uh, so after a successful registration, we may need to give him a role. Okay. So the name of the company remember company name we are submitting it here as what as company name so name of the company equals to our company name okay email we can use his email to be the email of the company for the beginning they can change the company email later so the company email can be the same all right the logo we can leave that one for now uh huh. Website of this company, of course, that's not provided. About us, not provided. Uh, the company status, we can make it active at beginning, unless it violates our right, then you can deactivate it. Uh huh. Expiry. Uh, you can leave that one. Hope it not crash because of expiry. Uh, then okay. Then also. Uh, Fun expiry can as well put something like this equals to date and then say maybe plus one year. So maybe if the system will be providing the years. So you can do something like this. This will add one year. Address, phone number, we can put the phone number, the one that he provided to be the phone number in case it's provided. Yeah, I think that's it. The rest you can leave them the way they are. They really are. They really are. Maybe, uh. Also, maybe currency. Currency. Then these others, we can leave them. They can say them later. Right. Okay, that's okay. So come and put your currency equals to our currency. And then we try and catch. So go ahead and do try 
and catch get company so you save company if it fails you throw the error so if it is successful you get maybe registered company and make sure that it is registered equals to Okay, so you also check if it was successful, so maybe fail to register a company, something like that. Otherwise, if everything is okay, let's go ahead and send back success. Ah, here you said the company user ID. I think this one already, already did it here in company. Like uh, when the company is being, has been created, we get the owner and set his company ID to be. I think that one's already been created. It's just... We already done that we already did that logic okay mm -hmm. uh, let's try it first and check if a company has been registered successfully so we go ahead and do some utils and say success So, if I, so you can see how I've done that. So I'm just sending back an array which has the user and the company and also registration successful, something like this. I hope you're seeing that. So let's try again, send back the registration email already registered. Let me send something in the, let me change something in the email. You see success here we are having the data the first section have the what the user data and in the second section we have the what uh, the company data so you can see that everything is uh, successful okay everything is what easy successful all right that is so great so company is registered and everything so you try to register again email already taken that is good. So one more thing that we're remaining is now, uh, so you can see here I'm sending back the data. I'm just sending success and I open a square bracket, okay? As our data section in the section of data, I open the square bracket like this. So after putting the square bracket, I press enter. So in the second comma, I put regi registration successful, okay? And then in this bracket, I press enter. So I pass the user data like this. The registered user, remember we already have this variable called registered user. And then the second, I pass the what? The company information also. Okay, so like that, we'll be able to, what, to achieve whatever I want. So I hope you can see that, and I hope it is uh, making sense to you. So let me remove these other things that uh, are not very important. So that is the registration logic. So one more thing, we need to create the what? The user role. Yeah, we need to create the user role. Um, yeah, so we need to, I don't know whether I have this model called admin user admin role. All right, I think when we're going to now to give the, the user role to this person who has created the company as a, okay, so the person who has created the company, we're going to give him role number two. As the company owner, I think it's role number two, right? Role number two, yeah. All right, so we're going to need to insert into this database, okay? I mean, into this table. I think I'm going to use DB insert just to give this person a role, okay? So let's give this person a role, okay? So, uh So we're going to insert that data, this, into admin role users using DB. So let's go ahead and do that. So you are going to use DB, and then you say, uh-huh. 
so let me make sure that this is imported so you make sure that this db is imported like this like this so make sure this is imported like this okay support for package and then put db so i just go ahead and say db table of what admin users insert and then i say user id i get the registered user and i put id so this is a square bracket this is an array user id i put the registered user and then the role is going to be what the role id is going to be um role id number two I think that's the user that's the role id that we're giving to what to company owners if you come to roles according to our design i mean roles here okay this one here you see the role number two is the company owner so make sure that we give this one a what a role of a company owner so they can be able to, to log into the dashboard uh -huh. so let's try and test that Okay, admin role users. Okay, so inserting this one and this one. Let's go ahead. So you can see we have three records. Let's try and change here the email and uh, send. Everything is successful. So if you come here and refresh, now at least you should have here we're having three records. So if I click on refresh here, you'll see that I have now four records okay role id role id is supposed to be number two not one so put two all right so i cannot i mean change to you cannot change if it does not have the primary id primary key all right so uh yeah so that is okay i think that is okay so you can pause the video and uh, look at how i've just done this and that is all about registration for now okay and remember we are sending back to you the username i mean the registered user and also their heart their company id so you can go ahead and save this one in your local database uh, so that when you try to send a request we are able to do what to identify you so this is what we'll be sending so that is the registration logic that's why i create the, the api for registering a user so you can see uh, that's the logic so if we put this one in our first file it could be really too much so let me explain it very fast here we begin with the validation and may, by making sure that everything that we are going to need is uh, registered and then here we create the user and then we wrap it into try and catch in case there's an error after making sure the user is created we go ahead and again get that user from the local database i mean from the database and see if this user is really registered and then after we go ahead and register the company like this and then after we check the company is registered successfully then you go ahead and give this user a role of uh, company owner and then you go ahead and do it and uh, say success and send back the success response as and in the data we send the registered user and the company that has been registered All right so by doing like this we shall be able to do what to have like successful uh, registration all right so the next thing that i'm going to do right now is now to yeah that's it i think that's the registration logic so the next thing that we're going to do right now is uh, the login logic okay so to login we just need to be just sending you the user and their respective what company information so that's what we're going to do right now to login the user so let's go ahead and uh, do that logic okay so uh i'm just going to duplicate this by the way you can as well duplicate and then we create okay let's begin by creating the endpoint so to create the endpoint i'll just come back to our api file this one here okay and i'm going to create here the authentication of of uh, register so I'll duplicate this one and say login okay the authentication of login just press control and shift and arrow down to duplicate or control d okay to duplicate and then i'll come here and put login so in this method instead of pointing a register i'm going to create another method called login okay but it's going to look much more like a register method okay so i'll go ahead and click here and then i'll collapse the register method i'll just copy it and then come here on top and press enter come here 
here and i'm going to paste here the registration method this one now that i've just copied i'm going to paste it here and just change the name to login and i modify a few things so i'll paste here the registration method so i'll just have come and change this name from register to login but everything's almost the same so only i'm going to need the username and password or the email and password so i'll remove these other things so i'm going to need the email okay email email is ah, so i'm getting the email and then after the next thing that i'm going to need i'm going to remove all these and maybe let me also check the validation of email and then after i'm going to go to also the what the password so the two things that i need in the registration method let me let me delete these other things so they should not confuse you let me delete think up here and also remove these currency things company things okay so this is our simple email i've just i mean our simple login uh function called login which is checking the email check if the email is valid then it gets the password check if the password is got to null i stop from there so now after we're going to get the person who is logged in i mean the the, the user account so user equals to uh go ahead and say user user where email equals to email and then i say get the first user okay so if equals to none we say that account not found if equals to none we send back the error if it's equal to null we go ahead and send back the error by saying account not found like this so that is in case it is what it is null so if it is not null the next thing that we shall need to do what is to verify the password that has provided if it is uh, correct so we shall just simply put here if password verify so that's a function of php so you put the first thing is the password that was sent through the request the error password uh -huh. and then the third thing you think we pass the hash the password that is from the what from the database so we check if it is equal to false okay then we say invalid password so if it is not false let's get the company so it's going to be company and then you say find where company users company id is go to this so if company is not found, you can just also send back that company is not found. So if the company is found, ah, then you send back the success, just like the way we did in what? In the register. So everything should be uniform. So I send back the success. I open square bracket here. I put the company, I mean the register users here, and then the company here, and then I say login successful. So that is how we, we will say that, okay, everything is okay. So remember, even in the registration, only the message is different, but the structure is the same so if someone will be able to save this one in their local machine or in their local db or in their local whatever to do what to to uh, to make sure that everything is okay so when they are making a next request we'll have to maybe ask them to do what to identify yes themselves by providing maybe a valid id something like that so yeah so that's it that is it so now let's go ahead and try to log in. So we're going to create, so it's come here at API, you see we have another, let's create just another endpoint called login that is pointing to the login method that we have just created, this one. So let's go ahead and test this authentication of login, auth login. So we shall come to our postman, okay? So I can just simply minimize this one. So the login is also going to look like register endpoint. So I'm just going to duplicate this one by right clicking and say, uh, duplicate so in this word copy i'll come here and double click and rename here login like this and then here i'm going to pass auth login so it's going to be the same endpoint only the word login 
So I'll come here to the body and we are going to remove things that we don't need. So to remove, you just simply click here. For example, first name, we don't need it. Last name, we don't need it. Email, we need it. A phone number, we don't need it. Uh, company name, we don't need it. Password, we need it. And then the currency. I think that's it. We are going to send them as what? As post. So also make sure you save by pressing Ctrl S. Because this one, you'll have to save them. If you lose your computer, you can log in again. And you'll receive this. Uh, for, you'll receive, I mean, the postman will be able to give you back your information from where you stopped at. So you can see everything is now fine here okay so let's go ahead and try to log in so you see code is zero password invalid password <sighs> seriously that's not right okay all right let's begin by testing the account that is not existing so put the valid invalid you have to test so put the invalid email I have not found that's okay okay so let's put uh, this one account is there send so invalid password okay so invalid password mm -hmm. that is not right let's first check if the passwords are being set properly so come here to admin users and come to uh, the last user uh -huh. come to their password here you see password they are well hashed so maybe here in our function we don't write it properly okay so what is our function it's here so i just simply say if not let me try to do that if not password verify let me see invalid password no wrong password you see password verify and then you pass the password and then you pass the hash i think that's what it does how it is you pass the password that has been provided and then pass the what pass the hash i think that's it and then if it sends false then you you put your note just for checking if it is false so if it sends false then you say valid password valid password uh, why uh why is it doing that let me first display the password that is being sent. Invalid password 4321. Okay. So password hash. How do you write our password hash? Password hash. Okay. Password default. Password verify. Hmm. Why? Let's try to get a new hash. Let me just put here password the hash and I just hash that password and I try to update it. So I refresh. So this is the hash. Let me first copy this hash and update the one on database. Okay. Okay, let's try. Mm. So you mean that you're not hashing did you change the password? <laughs> you mean that you're not hashing the passwords properly. Okay. So let's see password hash how we did it. Password hash. New user password hash and pass the default list. Let me try and see password hash. I think in that way we just remove password hash okay. like this, but I don't know why the hash was acting like that. You'll just try to fix that because if I create a new hash, you'll see that. Um, You'll see that everything was all right. Okay. 
yeah so yeah that's it uh yeah that's it so you can see now that's how you log in someone let me take you back so to log in someone you follow those methods okay so you can maybe create a logic of in case someone forgets their password they can be able to reset by requesting the password verification in the email and then you send them otp something like that and then they reset all right so that's how it is so you see uh login successful and they send back the company something like that so if, if the password hash is not working but i know for you it will work because i've done it the right way yeah so that is how we create a user account let's try to check one more time for this password thing so let me put here mobile uh, five and then come and put password uh one two three four and then try to send so this has been created successfully okay so let me go ahead and come and copy this email and try come to, come to log in put the other email and then password one two three four invalid password what the hell what what i don't know why it's not right I don't know it's not right oh let's let us let us let us let us go back to use and we see something here okay so yeah pc you, you see this is where the whole problem is when you are creating the user we are resetting the password to admin so here we may need to check it and see if if Password equals to null or so if, if password is equal to null or as the, the length of password is less than three. Yeah. Then go ahead and change their password. Yep. So that is the only way how shall so if password is not null and its length is more than three, then it will not be reset. I think that's how you can fix that issue. So this problem was in on creating, we did this thing here. All right, let's try and uh, check that again. Let's do it. Register, uh, mobilehood six, password one, two, three, four. Send, uh -huh, come here and log in. Mobilehood six, password one, two, three, four send you see now it is okay now you can log in successfully so the problem it was hashing the password in the creating method so you see when you're sending back we're sending back the user and also we're sending back the what the, the company information yeah so that is how you create uh your login so in the next videos i'll show you maybe how you can as well also do what how you can use the tokens so uh we have finished the authentication and also getting introduced to the API uh, creation. So in the next lecture, now we shall look at how we can create um, other endpoints and proceed also to the what? To the mobile application. See you tomorrow in the next lecture. Make sure that you don't miss. Yeah, and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, so we don't miss, just don't give up because we're going to do more cool things. We're going to learn how to integrate this api that we are learning into the mobile application so don't give up at this point bye bye see you tomorrow